what happened if I tell you that there is a better way to manage Claude Code background tasks than the Claude Code web feature? Well, lately I've been working on a tool very similar to Cursor Background Agent, but for Claude Code, runs locally and it's actually a lot simpler to use. It's called Claude Maestro and I'd like to show it to you in this video. For those who have been following me, this is a complete overhaul of the UI and workflow from previous versions. So stay tuned because I will let you know how you can get your hands on this for free. So what is Claude Maestro? Claude Maestro is an orchestration tool for Claude code that's built on top of Claude Agent SDK. It allows you to manage multiple simultaneously running Claude code instances. Rather than just talking about this, let me just show you exactly how I use this in my workflow. Usually I have a lot of tasks in my linear project. This is the Claude Maestro project. And what I'll do is I will organize them so that I'll figure out which one I'll be tackling today and which one can be worked on in parallel. What I would do here is I would go into each one of these tasks, write out the prompt that I need for Claude Maestro. I would then paste it into Claude Maestro here. And before I actually execute this, I need to actually pick the directory that the repo is in. So here I'm going into my Claude Maestro repo directory. I'm going to pick the dev branch and I'm going to select the Claude Sonnet 4.5 model. That's all I need. I can just hit plan and there it goes. It's going to start creating a plan for this task. While that's working, I'm actually going to queue up another task as well. The ability to chat before creating a plan. I'm going to paste this in and I'm going to hit plan here as well. So now we have two tasks going on simultaneously. Obviously you can queue up as many tasks as you want. This is being worked on locally. And one thing that I forgot to mention is that the directory that you set here needs to be a Git repo. It can't just be a random folder or else most of the feature will not work. It doesn't need to be a GitHub repo, it just needs to be git initialized repo, okay? And when the plan is complete, you can literally see it right here on the side. I've made it really clear. You can even edit the plan if you wanted, but usually what I do is I'll just go back and forth with Claude Maestro right here to have it edit the plan for me. So at this point, what I would do is I would review the plan meticulously making sure that every phase, every step that is going to implement works the way I expected it to. And at the bottom of the plan, there's usually some questions that the model wants you to clarify. Let me just go ahead and answer these questions. I'm going to send it back so that the plan is going to be regenerated based on answers that I have just gave it right here. While that's doing that, I can go ahead and review the other implementation, which is the drag and drop file attachment. I'm just going to go straight to the bottom and like the previous task, I'm going to answer these questions. Let's go back to the other one. As you can see here, the markdown has been generated again. Let's say I am happy with this plan. What I can do now is select the number of instances of Claude code that I want to be working on this plan. So if I select four, there'll be four versions of this plan that is implemented in four separate work trees. So let me just go ahead and do that now. I'm going to hit execute plan. It's going to create four work tree for this task. And here we go. We now have attempt one, two, three, four, very similar looking to what you may be used to in OpenAI Codex or Cursor Background Agent. And while this task is working, I can also queue up this one as well. I will go with five instances for this one, who knows? and I will go ahead and execute the plan here as well. All in all here, we have a total of nine instances of Claude code going all at the same time. Claude Maestro has completed both tasks. What I can do now is going to open the work tree in the IDE I have selected in my settings. I will show you that later in the video. What I like to do now is usually I'll go through each one of these attempts and I'll see which one gets me closest to the final feature that I want. As you can see, this has implemented the just chat toggle here. And if I actually start talking to it, looks like it does still output a plan. And this is where I would go in here, look at the code and make changes as needed. Okay, let's say that I did like the changes inside of attempt one. What I would do in this case is I would actually hit this merge button right here. And you'll see that the merge failed 
And that's because if I open up this work tree in cursor again, you can see that I have not committed any of the changes here. So if I commit these changes, I can go back to the application and if I hit merge here, it will merge that particular branch. Now that the first attempt has been merged, you can see that the badge here in the task card has changed to merge. And what I can do now is I can right click here and I can actually hit archive. And what this is going to do is going to clean up all the work trees that was created for all of these attempts, making sure that your repo stays nice and clean. And I'm going to show you where all these work trees are located, by the way, and there's a way to change the location as well. I will talk a bit more about that later in the video when we get into the nitty gritty of how exactly this all works behind the scene. Okay, let's say for this task, you didn't like any of the attempts, you notice that there is something wrong with this plan and you'd like to revert all the attempts and go back to the planning phase. You can easily hit this revert changes. It's going to delete the specific work tree for attempt one and it's going to allow you to then go back and continue to work on the plan before re-executing the plan. All right, with that said, that is basically the whole workflow. Very simple, very elegant. It's not meant to replace cloud code. It's meant to be your local work companion where you have this on the side, you queue up multiple tasks onto it and as each task is done, you open up to review. This way I can basically multitask all at the same time. There's always something to do all the time rather than just waiting for one task to finish at a time. And also I like to have multiple IDEs open. It allows me to really go switch back and forth. I know it's a little hectic, but once you get used to it, it's like, okay, this is actually pretty fun. And it feels like you're actually moving rather than you're just sitting and waiting. It disrupts the flow state. That's, that's really what I'm aiming for. It's like keeping the flow moving and not have any major roadblocks. I don't know about you, but when I have downtime waiting for agents to complete its work, I tend to grab my phone and start scrolling. So this helps me eliminate that habit completely. So at this point, you're probably wondering who can use this and who is this for? For now, this is completely free to use. There's a link down below in the description that you can sign up and you can go ahead and download it for yourself. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Unfortunately, it is only available for Mac right now. I am going to work on the Windows version. I still don't have a Windows machine. I also need to get code signing certificate for Windows. It's like a whole thing on Windows. For Mac, I already have like the Apple certificate. So like, this is why it's on the Mac. Now that you know how I use Claude Maestro, let's dig a little deeper and see how it all works under the hood. When you hit the plan button, the application is going to talk with Claude Agent SDK in plan mode. I did find if I do not inject any prompt here, it's going to output a very high level plan without any detail and it's not exactly how I like to work. I like to see the exact code changes that it's going to make in the plan before I actually implement that plan. So no one is going to be wasting time. As for all the conversation history, this is all stored within the Zustand store locally on your machine. It is not being sent to any third party cloud service or anything. I'm keeping everything as local as possible. You might be wondering, okay, this is all great, but what about context management? Well, the first thing you got to know is that plan and code phase here, they do not share context. The only thing that passes between plan and code phase is the plan markdown file, which is outlined right here. In terms of context management within the plan phase, I am managing that context myself in the application rather than using Claude code context management. The reason for this is that I can then filter out all the tool calls here because it's not really necessary. I just filter out anything that's unnecessary and only keep the things that's necessary. Not only that, but if I, for example, want to switch mid turn to using GLM 4.5 or DeepSeq, which the option will be available to you if you do input the API key, as you can see, GLM 4.5 is available. What this is gonna do is it allows me to easily just switch between model providers while keeping all of the context because the application manages your context rather than the Claude Agent SDK managing your context for you. On top of that, when you execute the plan is not just going to create the work tree, it's also going to be running the post work tree command, which is set here. For example, I have bun install. Obviously you can add more commands here if you wanted. The other thing that I do want to mention is that you can set the work tree directory. This is going to be the relative path within your repo. Here I have specified a trees folder. And if we go into 
cursor and into my file directory and I look for trees. You can see trees here and in here you can see all the different work trees that has been created by Claude Maestro. And here's the drop down where you choose which IDE you want the work tree to be opened in when you click the code button. As I've said this multiple times before, I want to keep this tool slim, sleek, and simple as possible. I don't need all the bells and whistles. This tool is meant to keep me in the flow rather than distract me with all the different configurations I can make. It should be ready to use right out of the box without any configuration. Again, the download link will be in the description. Feel free to check it out. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.